you guys may have noticed, we have redecorated the newly named Tyler Perry Lounge. Yes, and now, we all heard the saying that with age comes wisdom. Well, that couldn't be more true. Amen. For our next guest. That's right. <laughs> Fan yourself, girls. Always hot. Amen. These guys, they're going viral after creating a stand offering free advice with a sign that read, Old Coots Giving Advice. And since we all could all benefit from some age-old wisdom, we brought them here today. We wanted to get on their level. Hence, why we aged a little bit over the break. So please welcome three old coots from Salt Lake City, Tony Caputo, Gus Wheeler, and Lou Morganet. This is just brilliant on every level. How did this all get started? Old guys have coffee <laughs> on Saturday mornings everywhere you go in, in the world. Mm -hmm. And so we did that. And then we <laughs> solved all the world's problems. Yeah. So we needed something, a new challenge. Infusion. Aside Infusion. from the fact that when you're retired, you need to sit someplace for five hours on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we have nothing better to do, so we That's just went exactly out right. right. So, so do you do you think that the old coots would, would be so famous as late in life? We thought we'd be ignored totally. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd be dead by now. <laughs> We did this, we did this for our own amusement. <laughs> now it even says on your sign it's probably bad advice, but it's free. So with that bad advice, have there ever been any legal ramifications? Uh, like yet. the old coot said that I could. Not yet, but not yet. No. I keep worrying that someone that we've seen before is going to come with a guy in a suit and you know papers and. Yeah. We have you guys here, so we want to know if you can help our audience with some advice. You, you yeah. Bet. We can give you. find myself being overwhelmed with my social life and my work schedule. Mm. So what is your advice on slowing down and being intentional with my time as a young adult? That's good. I'd say move out of New York. <laughs> <laughs> so move out of New York and slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds very simple. You should break it. All right, thank you, my dear. Well, next we have Maria, who's a mom of two from New York. And Maria, what do you got for us? What's your question? Hello. Hello. Well, my sons are out the house, so it's my time. Yeah. Outside of dating websites, what advice do you get for dating and meeting people? Oh, I think get involved in something you're in, a cooking class. I mean, not necessarily meet, but involved in things where you meet people who are interested in the same thing. Hiking clubs. Hiking club, okay, uh, yeah. cooking class, wine tasting. Book club. Uh, okay. What are you into? Look for the funny guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like crocheting, Broadway shows. Broadway I like to, show, yeah. to do like things in New York. Club. Yeah. All right, so, okay, that's great advice. That's great Go advice. to places where you would like minded people. Thank you. I like that. Next up, we have Jackie from Cincinnati and Therese from Alpharetta, Georgia. Oh, boy, they come this in together. Okay. So, I'm the young, youngest of two children. However, I've kind of taken on the role of being the boss slash caretaker, and we bump heads all the time, even in the middle of Times Square. <laughs> so Ooh. what kind of advice could you give us? So what do you bump I, heads I don't about? need a caretaker. Yeah. <laughs> I live independently. <laughs> and I've tried to get her to understand that when she's at my house, it's my rule. Yeah. And when I'm at her house, mm -mm. she mm -mm. can give the rules. Mm -mm. But, uh, but <laughs> she wants to be the ruler from Atlanta to my house okay. as well. So what advice so can you give us? So she's not in the same city? No, no. sir. Well, don't let her come. But she doesn't. <laughs> I'm not an old coot, but as a daughter, just have a little compassion for the fact you guys give so much to us, and all we want to do is make sure you're around for as long as possible. Hey, as, a, as a old and like myself, we have to remember that our parents, they've been, they've been doing this longer than we have. So we also got to let them be. When they get older, we get worried. We also got to know they know how to take care of themselves. They've been doing it longer than us. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you, have something. you have a child that loves you and takes care of you instead of the child that you would never calls. Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's got to be some medium ground there because... Uh, you bring tears. I'm uh, <laughs> That is a great point. Bottom line is, your daughter loves you, you love your daughter, you two will work it out. You're doing a good job, baby. And you're doing a good job. You raised a good daughter who cares about her mama. That's the bottom line. That was so sweet. All right, we're not talking.